Hello, my name is Shelly Terrell and I'm going to show you how to use Taggle.com to create interactive engaging lessons for your students. Tagu is a word cloud service, much like Wordle, but Tagu has some customization options that make it very effective. Primarily, you all of the words become links. You can also make different shapes like this heart shape. Okay, so you have to register. Once you register on the right hand side column, you will be allowed to have 10 clouds. I need to find a website where I want to get my Wordle from. Okay, so I found a website. I just copy and paste it or I can paste the text. Now this is where you get to customize where you want the links to be searched. You can do Wikipedia, you can do whatever you want. Default is Google search. Now this is a little tricky. The way this works is you have to keep the money tag inside the code so it will work properly. Okay, to find the search code, um, what you have to do is actually try to enter a word. So I'm gonna enter a word and then at the top, I will get something that looks like this. Now, since I want everything before the equal sign to copy and paste, I don't want the actual word I searched for. Replace this with the new search link that I have and make sure you keep the money tag. Okay, so then there's other options. I'm gonna make this English. I'm gonna fetch the tags. It'll take just a second. And now I'm going to make this into a, I can make it into a heart. I'm going to do a triangle. Okay. So you can also change the different angles and things like that. There's many options. You can also do your fonts. So I'm going to just pick random fonts. You can do the angles that the words will actually turn. I'm going to make it random. And then I'm going to build the cloud. At the top, you have different types of tabs to do even more customizations. Okay, my cloud is ready. So the tags here, you can actually decide which tags you don't want. You can do it by text, you can sort by weight, and I can just X them. You can find all the blacklisted words under the blacklist. And if you want to have one come back, just click the X next to it. Now you have lots of style options. I'm going to pick random because these are the colors of the different tags. It's very important to test this out under preview. So what I'm going to do is refresh this and every time I refresh, it does a different color. So until you get the one that you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on one of the words to make sure it works. And there I go. I clicked on Indian and sure enough, it comes out with it. Okay, um, when you are finished, you just simply go back to your word cloud, go to finalize, make sure to save, or else it will disappear the next time you come back. And you also want to copy to the clipboard and now you can embed it in a wiki, your web page, or even a blog. Okay, hope you have some great lessons and you found this very useful.